got this little ultra low voltage boost converter off eBay for like two pounds or something. Uh, I'm hoping that it'll step up the voltage from some of my energy harvesting projects up to more useful levels like five and a half volts so I can charge a phone or something. Uh, first step, let's solder these headers on. We need some jumpers. has failed so I suppose I'd best read the instructions. Okay, data sheet. Good place to start. Operates from inputs of 20 millivolt. That's really well. Good stuff. Energy harvesting power management system, selectable voltage output of 2.35 volts, 3.3 volts, 4.1 volts, or 5 volts. That's interesting because that means it probably has some kind of voltage regulators on there, so I can't just get whatever the output voltage happens to be. It's curious. Um, okay, skip the circuit diagram for a second. Absolute maximum ratings, that's important. Is there an absolute maximum table? Yeah, this thing. Okay, so there's our chip. Here's a circuit diagram. Power generation here. There's your 20 millivolt. Goes over here, charges up your cap when the cap is full. Goes through the inductor to SW, whichever is doing switch. So that one can't go over two volts apparently. Good to know. Then that must turn it off when it gets high. And as it gets high, it induces a current in this one. Press the one, press the two. Mm, okay. Well, all of this is in. Wait, not all of it's included because that isn't. And I do remember seeing capacitors, but I don't remember seeing an inductor. So I'll look back on Google. Yeah, ours came like this with uh, no inductor on it. Although that's cut there, whereas here they're connected together. Ah, well, if we add an inductor, then we need that, don't we? Why was that separated though? It's so weird. Can you tell that I'm not an expert? <laughs> oh, I should have got one with a... Oh, that's got a 1 to 20 already installed in it. Interesting. Oh well, if you're buying one of these, see if you can get one with an inductor already. On the other hand, let's see if we can get me an inductor. Okay. 120 there. It's the last three digits of the part number, I presume that's what that is. Let's check that out. Data sheet. Ah, turn ratio 1 to 50. Boom. This is a coupled inductor. Perfect. Good stuff. 
Right, we'll add one of those to our basket. And it's 70, so that's a different one. 120 is the same as the first one. No, it's actually the same price. Uh, there's a 250 here and another 70. And the 70 is five, six pounds, 16. One penny more expensive than buying it there. Right. Check this out. That one's a one to 100. Yeah, we want one of those. you reckon? It's a 20. Right. Well, it's one of those as well. What are we doing? That's the three. That one's been added to my basket already. Those three. Boom. Okay, I'll get those ordered and then when they arrive I'll solder it up and we'll see how it goes. Alright, until then, that'll do.